How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech. So Apple has just released another software update to iOS 17, iOS 17.0.2, which is actually the second update to iOS 17 in just a few days. So Apple has released iOS 17.0, the first version of iOS 17, 10 days ago, last week. And we've already seen 17.0.1 and now 17.0.2. So why so many software updates in so few days? Well, let me explain you and also why you should update right now. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here, Apple released iOS 17.0 on the 18th of September, so last Monday, as I said, and then just a few days later, 17.0.1 and now 17.0.2. But the funny thing is, they actually released 17.0.2 alongside 17.0.1 just for the iPhone 15 lineup. But then, a few days later, they released 17.0.2 for everyone. So right now, just so you can understand, all iPhones that are compatible with iOS 17 will be running 17.0.2. So from the iPhone XR to the iPhone 15 series, everyone that's updated is on 17.0.2 okay so with that in mind everything's clear on those versions now you may be thinking why so many software updates and the reason why is super simple ios 17 had so many bugs if we jump to this other website right here we have some of the most common bugs in ios 17 as you can see the list is pretty large and those are just the most famous the most common bugs but there are so so many uh from notification sound to charging issues with apps crashing black screens it's amazing so because of all that apple decided to release those two software updates just to try and fix those issues and give you a better overall experience with the new software with iOS 17. So that's the only reason why. 17.0.1 uh, and 17.0.2 are not here to include new features, to release new features or anything like that. They're just bug fixes and security updates. So that's literally it. iOS 17.0.2, the later one, also fixes a specific issue that Apple pointed out, which had to do with transferring data from an older iPhone to a newer iPhone. So if you got a new iPhone 15, for example, and you wanna transfer your data from an old one, uh, you're having some issues, and then iOS 17.0.2 came to fix that. But apart from this specific issue that they pointed out, they just said security updates and bug fixes. So that's why if you're running iOS 17, it's mandatory that you update if you wanna have a better experience overall with your iPhone, just as easy, as simple as that. Oh, and by the way, I have already told you this on my other video where I tell you how to save a ton of battery life in iOS 17. If you haven't watched this video, go ahead, card right here and link in the description. I pointed this out on this previous video of mine that you should be on the look for those new software updates that it's normal. Uh, every time you get a major software update, you've got one and two very quick software updates on top of that to fix those issues, okay? So go ahead and take a look in that video. If you're suffering from battery issues, battery drain, and everything like that, go ahead, take a look, and that will help you out so, so much. For now, update and wait. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.